Hey everyone, it's me once again, and guess what? We're gonna do a benchmarking test now. And again, I know people go, Sam, it doesn't show true performance, it doesn't do this, don't do that. I know, I agree, but it gives you an indication of where these phones actually are. So, as you've seen me just unbox this video, hopefully you've just seen me unbox this video, and I'll just give you the hardware tour. I'm now just gonna do some quick tests upon it. Now, it's a fresh install, I've just obviously booted the phone up. It's, you know, pretty much, but it is brand new, so, you know, this is what it's going to be like from stock. And these are three applications we're going to be using off the bat, first of all. So we're going to be using Quadrant, Antutu, and Limpack. And then we're also going to be doing, I'm also going to be doing a Valemo, I believe that's how you say it, I may be saying it wrong, a benchmark at a later date. Anyway, let's dig in this one first of all. So we'll do Quadrant first of all, because it's the one that everyone wants to, the one always asks for, wants to see. So... What I'll do is I'll see if I can get a good angle on it there. There you go. So what I'll do is I'll run the full benchmark. I'll leave it here. I will speed up the video. Uh, and we'll see how it comes in at. So, here we go. Right, so welcome back. So as you can see, benchmark has fully finished. And here we see the results. So, let's see what we got. And there we go. Your device, 1382. And if you notice, Nexus 1, which obviously is below it, we got a lot of other devices like HTC Evo, Droid X, Galaxy S, Nexus 1 before, obviously 2.2. So, I think you'll agree, for an 800 megahertz single core CPU, that's pretty damn impressive. Yeah, once again, it's not the latest and greatest in terms of the dual core, quad core, whatever it may be. But for a single core processor, to get that, you know, on its first run of this actual, you know, of this first ever, you can't say no fairer than that. So that's quadrant out of the way. And again, 1382, which does beat the Nexus one when it first came out. Well, not when it first came out, that's when the next one was when it first came out. So, next one we're going to do is the good old and 22. So, as again, you can see, I've never actually done this, it's been untested. So, what we're going to do again is we'll go to test. We'll do default, we'll do all, we we'll can't overclock because it's not rooted or anything like that. Click start test. Once again, it's going to take its time. So I'm going to speed up this part of the video once again. And we'll cut back once it's actually done. So, sorry, it can't make it any bright for it. It's as bright as it can actually make the screen. But anyway, we're going to leave it now and we'll uh, come back once it's finished. Stay tuned. Right, so welcome back, and here we are, we've now finished the test fully. So we'll just go through some of these oops, specifications. So the RAM gets a 215, CPU integer 411, 228 for your float point, for your CPU float point, 2D graphics 316 and 3D graphics 673, database I.O. 200, SD card, SD card write speed 62, which is obviously 6.2 megabytes, and read speed is 9.3 megabytes per second. Obviously, it's CPU frequency, it's not picked up on this one, but it is 800 megahertz. Total score of 2198. Now, got a bonus with you, that's not bad at all. So, we'll submit our scores. Um, actually, no, we won't, because I don't actually want to sign up to anything like that. So, we'll go to the score chart, and we'll just see, obviously, I think it's going to show you all the best ones. So, it shows you all the, you know, all the super ones, all thousands, five thousands, four thousands. So, as we said, we were in the 2000 category. So in the, the phones it's basically competing with is the HTC Wildfire S, Motorola Milestone, um, HTC Hero, you know, and it was almost obviously within, almost close to some of these. So I'd guess it's probably close to the Galaxy S, uh, obviously running standard stock ROMs. And that's pretty much it. So um, me personally, I'm actually impressed by those scores. Again, for the specification of the device, I think it's done pretty damn good. And last but not least, in this video, we're going to be doing Limpack. So once again, we do run, we're going to run a single thread in a multi-thread. Now, I know multi-thread is not really going to work on this device that great, because it's not a multi-device, you know, multi -device, you know m multiple cores, but we'll run it anyway. So we'll do single thread first of all. So we'll click tap. And for our first one, we are going to get... 
13.634 megaflops. It took 6.15 seconds and a normal res of 5.68. So not, not the fastest and the, not the highest. Run it again. See if it gets anything better. Very similar scores, 13.718, 6.11 seconds that time, and normal res of 5.68. Uh, we'll do a third one. And last but not least, what are we going to get this time? Anyone want to bet? Look at that, very similar scores again. 13.463, took 6.23 seconds, and again, normal res 5.68. So it doesn't really perform that well in limpack scores. We'll do a multi-thread again. It's not really going to make much of a difference, but we'll do the multi-thread one anyway. See how it works. See where it gets. And we're going to get... Dun, dun, dun. What we get? 12.19. It took 13.84 seconds. And uh, number is of 3.24. Pretty shocking, all honesty. We'll do a multi-thread once again. Got to say that's not the highest, you know, not not the best scores we're going to see. Um, but again, it's not. It doesn't have the you know, latest, you know, the latest and greatest internals. It, this phone's mainly about what it can do for on a day-to-day -day basis. And again, twelve point six two six one two thirteen point three seven seconds, three point two one. Last but not least, we'll run the third one just to make it nice and fair. Again, it's going to take another thirteen seconds or so, isn't it? So. What we're going to get, I'm going to guess very similar scores again, probably in the 12s. There we go, 12.667, 13.31, and on of 3.24. So that's it. There, those bench, that's the benchmarking done on the Samsung Galaxy X cover. So in quadrants, personally, I think it did a pretty good job. I know a lot of people are probably like, wait, it didn't get 4,000. For the device it is and when it comes, you know, this is what it's going to be like out of the box performance. Not bad, it's, you know, I don't think it's bad anyway. Um, it is faster than a stock Nexus 1. So, you can't really compl complain with that. Um, other things may not be as fast, but for a single core processor with 800 MHz, 512 MB of RAM, did a pretty good damn job, if you ask me. Getting the score it did in um, Antutu, again, that kind of impressed me a little bit, you know, especially the 3D graphics, um, a lot higher than I were expecting. Um, and the read speeds and the write speeds, Pretty average, you know, you know what I'd expect in all honesty. And finally, Limpack, not the greatest, let's be honest, it, it kind of failed on Limpack, but two out of three is not too bad. Um, that's it. If you've got any other questions about this, again, it's a Samsung uh, Galaxy X, X cover. Um, and don't forget to go check out Gun Mobile, who have sent me this for the review. Again, links in the description. Anyway, people, I'm going to get off on this video. Thanks for watching. Um, any other videos you want to request for this, you're not to do by now, hit me up down below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, which is just at SamJ, and stay around here. And if you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button. You know you want to. It's free. <laughs> anyway, people, thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, everyone.